So I drink a little bit of soda, so let's see how well that this episode is going to go, because this is episode 70 of Pixelmine, and I'm on a server called nvblock.org. Should I go slower for you guys? Yeah, I could speak a little bit fast, guys. I could actually speak a lot faster if I actually tried. Mainly, if I were to probably believe like I am stumbling upon my words, I'm so bad right now. Wow, this is so bad. Okay, I'm going to keep that in there. I'm not going to take that out. I make mistakes a lot, and that's one of them. Come on now, mouse. Come on. Don't, don't. Don't break down on me. I didn't hit you that hard. I didn't throw you across the room about 20 times. I've only thrown you across the room 18 times. <laughs> yeah, let's move on from here. That This is going to be mvblock.org. All you have to do is just download Pixelmon of the little mod version of 3.4.0 and have the Forge mod version of 1.7.10 less ending 4 numbers and 1230. All it is is that it's going to be a... Minecraft server, multiplayer with Pokemon, MC, MMO, and a great community. Feel free to join us, and when you do join for the first time, tell them that Fox sent you. And reason for that is so that they know that I'm doing my job as advertiser on the server, because I have the rank of A, and also I am a moderator of the server too. Fox has no ears. Yeah, I do. I have ears, but sadly that they don't show whenever you bring a head onto a table. Just let's go ahead and check that out. There's Healy, the other moderator. <laughs> so funny how the platypus looks. So I don't have a ears. I don't have ears. It's so sad. Why don't they add? Hey, it's faded out though. It's there, but it's faded out. I see it. The little three dots right there, one, two, and three, and then the other three dots. Oh, why? Why? Look at look at my ears. Look at my ears. Look at that. It's there, but it's not on there. Oh, I'm so sad now. Oh, I'm so sad. I oh well. Let's go ahead and check out everything else that's right here. We got the X moderators, crucifix. Then we got Josh, Taylor Wiggins. Wait, this is deja vu. I've already done this in the other episode. Okay, but I'm still going to go along with this because why not? I'm all over the place today because of all the sugar that I have in my system. And I got to slow down again. Okay, Taylor, or sorry, Taylor Wiggins, Machinima, I'm sorry, Mac and Cheese. But he's on the server right now, I think. Let me go check it out. Right, oh no, he actually went online. I forgot he actually went to sleep. Okay, we're just going to leave us that. Maybe he becomes a moderator again. It'll be actually great. Then we got Sasquatch. It's PMN. Don't know what that stands for. Then we got Eraser. Teagues 777. Oh, sorry. Teagues 777. Dream Spectre. Gilly in the Mist. Then we got Fork, which I think he's online right now. Yep, there he is. Right there. Funny how that works, isn't it? Then White Ghost Pie. Payton and Zack. And I think that they actually said that Pat Crafter, since he hasn't been online for a while, that he's no longer a moderator. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to look up in the forums. I'll look that up right now. See if he actually made a response somewhere. Not too sure. Not too sure. It just doesn't show, actually. It does not show. Well, I can't find anything on the forum, so I, I'm either going to have to take their word for it or just wait for an actual confirmation. But until then, then we have Healy, Fugle, Wacky. Hippo OP, DG, Sethra Wolf, Bryce, myself. Looks like somebody changed the sign again because the sign could actually be red. Yay! Because when they actually put orange or gold, that it just didn't actually, you couldn't really read it. Then, here are the other two spots. They think that there are three spots open, but technically, it's that we can have as many moderators as we want. Just if DG decides yes and everybody else decides yes, then we'll have more moderators. This was just more for the symmetricality wise that it'll be symmetrical on both sides. Because otherwise then there's going to be three spaces and then there's going to be four spaces. It's just not going to look nice. But moving on from here, where else can I go? I just really wanted to go to spawn and actually delete some of the Pokemon that I do have. So there's going to be that little spot right there. Maybe I can find some other shinies I didn't want to get rid of and we'll be good from there. Let oh. Whoa, whoops. Yep, didn't mean to do that. Yep, there you go. And yes, I do have World Guard, so I'm able to actually place blocks down. I did not mean to do that. I thought I hit the PC, but apparently it did not allow me to hit the PC. So let me punch the PC again. There we go. Now I'll be able to use it. Well, gotta get rid of Blissey. And gotta get rid of a Dwebble. 
Now, where are all the other Pokemon? Well, there's a Doduo, which is giant, so I'm going to have to move that. Because I did remember the other giant Doduo that I killed. Well, at least I actually have one in my PC that's actually giant, so I'm happy with that. Also, I did get a Salamence. Because remember the reaction game? Yeah, DG was actually having a lot of fun at that day. He was in a great, great mood. He was actually online for a good eight hours. That was the longest I've ever actually seen him online. But he was in such a great mood that he said that whoever wins this reaction game, the next one, will get a shiny of their choice. Except for legendary. But shiny. I should have asked if I could have actually made my legendary into a shiny. Wow. I don't know. I don't think that would have been allowed. Maybe I will ask him one day if I win a mini game. I want to ask if I can make the Pokemon that I have already, that exist already, like maybe make my, I don't know, make my Groudon that I have until a shiny Groudon. Maybe that could be a thing because I already have the Groudon. Not too sure, but who knows how things will go in the future. But I digress that he's been, he gave out three shinies and he gave out a rookie rank. Just mainly if you were a trainer, if you're online and you won that minigame, then you would actually get a upgrade for free. But still, I actually got Salamence and he made it level 5 and the best part is, he made it enormous. He's like, he knew that I wanted enormous. I was very, very happy about that. I don't care for the IVs, I just have an enormous Salamence that is shiny. I could still EV train it, it's just not going to be as good as the others, but it's still fine with me. I'm just happy that I got a free, I got a free shining from that. So let's move on, what else can I get rid of? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All these mischievous that I do have, that they have a 31 IV stat somewhere. One of them has a HP, special attack, defense, special defense, I think, I don't remember exactly, but I'm still missing two that I need to get 31s in, and then I'll try to combine them all into having this one big old mischievous that has all 31 IVs. I'll work on that. I'm going to probably get into IV training or IV breeding, but it won't be until some, some while. So which one can I get rid of? Oh yeah, I forgot, I was supposed to be looking for the do duo, tr duo, <laughs> the duo duo. Ah, uh, puns, puns everywhere, so bad. In the other episodes, I already made all these into giant, mainly the Moltres. Oh wait, switcheroo, switcheroo. Okay, you're good. So all these four, or sorry, six, I can't count right now. I have made all these six into enormous. I'll donate to the server any way that I can, or help the server out. So there is the huge one right there. So the other do duo has to go. So I'm gonna have to do that and do that. So this one should be ordinary or runt. Then the other one should be giant. So we got giant. Oh, nope, didn't wanna touch you. There's giant, the other one is huge. So now that I have the family of the do duo and it's gonna be the, what was the other? I can't remember the evolve form name. I'm trying to remember. I can't say Doug Trio because we have Doug Trio. What is the name? Oh well, I'll figure it out sooner or later. I've said the name before, but right now on the top of my head, I cannot think because, of course, all the sugar that's in my body right now, it's gonna be a mess. Well, let's go ahead and find some other Pokemon I could possibly trade off. Maybe I could find another Starly or Saravia or what other Pokemon that evolves into Star Raptor. See if I can find another pair, then I'll be able to sell that. And there's the Starly, Staravia, and the Staraptor. Oh, so beautiful. I got a family right there. I'm going to try to get every single Pokemon level 100 and shiny, of course. So I'm going to have all the families. I'm going to have a lot of shinies. And once I get all to level 100, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Probably I'm going to start building here and there. Because why not? I got nothing else to do. Well, there's a Hoot Hoot that I caught the other day. So it's going to be a small Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot? I like saying Hoot Hoot. Who doesn't have a Hoot saying Hoot Hoot? Come on now, say Hoot Hoot out loud. It keeps saying it. Say it ten times fast. Hoot 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 Yeah, that's the little mentality that I have right now. This is why I like the word Hoot Hoot. And I know that was four times. Or three. I can't count. Well, so far I've gone Doduo, Hoot Hoot, and two Starlies to sell. And Fizzy Biscuits is online. Hey Fizzy! Hi Fizzy, how have you been? 
So let's see if I'll be able to sell two Starlies. Let's go check out the IVs because that's one thing that they're going to ask. And I just want to have it ready if they want to actually ask. Well, this one actually has good I, the HP IV. So you could do some training with that. Now, let's go look at number three. Okay. Uh, sort of balanced. Just the other two is just utter garbage. But I don't even know. I don't do much. Well, let's go ahead and find some person to actually buy it. Selling two shiny star leads for $200. Any takers? How about you, good sir? Would you take two shiny star leads for $200? You'll be able to get your star raptor, and then you'll be able to fly across. Fox, this isn't business time. It's fun to get shinies. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Well then, apparently there's going to be a Fallout mini game. So the prize will be given as $2,000 and 10 rare candies. So let's go check this out right now. I'm going to be helping monitoring this Fallout mini game. Look at this Fallout mini game. What the deal about Fallout is that you, all you got to do is not fall. The floor is going to actually be, you know, making holes in the ground by itself. There's a command block that just gets rid of the glass blocks. The clear glass blocks, I don't know. I don't know what this kind of block is, to be honest with you. But it's going to disappear little by little by little by little until last person standing wins. It's a fun mini game regardless. And there are two slow pokes. Or three slow pokes. A family of slow pokes. That is so funny. Honestly, that is funny that slow pokes decide to spawn. Because they could actually push these guys off if they wanted to. So that is going to be a hazard. Going to be a fun hazard, but still going to be a hazard nevertheless. I'm going to shoot you guys. Shoot. Shoot. I'm going to shoot you guys. Shoot. Yeah. Fire arrows. Fire arrows. Flaming fire arrows. When is this minigame going to actually start? And now the game has begun. And the thing is, is that since we're above the sea, it is very, very tricky. It's so, so like, I don't know. I would say trippy, actually. Tricky and trippy. That this is that it's going to be blue and then it's going to be dark blue. The dark blue blends in so well with the ocean floor. Sometimes you don't even know that it's actually like a missing block or an actual block. Oh, that is so good. So who's going to win? Who's going to win? Is that Slowpoke going to push you off? Nope. Oyofi is still standing. How about you? We have Bimo right there. Oh god. A little bit of a lag frame right there. Then we got S-Man. Then we got Cougar. As well as Deadpool. Where's everybody else? We got Alex Bam making a good jump. That was a risky jump and somebody else falling. And now we got Hazard right there. And as well as that we got the Quiet. Then Legador made a risky move by battling a Slowpoke. That could have gone so bad for him. Now we got S-Man going into the corner right there. Oh, I I fell. Haha, -ha, but sadly I could actually fly. But since I'm not participating in the mini game, it does not matter what I do. Then we got Hazard. Then we got the Quiet going into one spot. That is so risky because if there's two in one spot, there may be a draw. Somebody has to make a line somewhere right there. Oh, Hazard, what are you doing? You are going to make yourself fall from doing that. Now, we got the Quiet just standing still. Oh, no, he has one more block. Is he going to actually do a risky move? Oh, he could go over here, though. He could go over here. Right there. Come on. Right there. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, sadly, he did not, he did not actually go with my tip. Oh, well, then we got the wolf with Cougar P2000. S-Man making some risky moves here. Then Biller Beck Boys. Oh, he either has one, two blocks from there or one block from there. He can choose either or. Now, we got a Oifi. Still making a great little decision of standing on the four blocks. That is a good tip right there. That is a good strategy. Stand in the middle of all four blocks. You have a good chance of not falling because of that. Unless all four blocks were to fall, of course. Then we got Alex Bam. Now he's actually... Oh, sadly that did not work. Oh, uh, whoa. The quiet now is on standing on one block. Now, let's see where else does everybody go. The tension is so high. I'm so glad that I'm not even participating in this mini game. It's so easier to actually, or sorry, wait, is that actual proper grammar? It's just so easy to actually make a commentary looking at other people than to make a commentary while playing the mini game. Now, a Oifi is right there making a good stance right there. Then we got 
the quiet right there. Oh wait, is that? Yep, that. No, wait, is that the quiet? No, that is the wolf. And it, whoa, apparently he fallen already. The wolf, cougar. We got S man, and of course, Bella Beck boys or Bimo. Aofi has actually fallen. Now we got the wolf, cougar. S-Man and Bimo standing, oh my god, look at that. That is so risky. Are you gonna actually, who, oh, nope, nope, no one's gonna make a move there. Now, the wolf, we got four last standing people. The wolf, Cougar, S-Man, and Bimo. Who is gonna be the last one standing? This is so, this is so nerve-wracking, but even though it's not really that great of a prize, but it's still nerve-wracking nevertheless. Four players standing. <laughs> Go. Come on. Come on, fall, 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 buddy. Oh, oh, it's a tie. It's a tie between S-Man and Bimo. Well, <laughs> apparently Pez was up for a prize, maybe? Yeah, please don't split me. That is one morbid way to look at it. <laughs> I didn't even know Pez was actual, actually part of the prize. So what is going on now? So apparently, S-Man wins the $2,000 and the 10 rare candies. The only thing that Bimo wanted was Pesley. So weird, Pesley just put, him up, put herself up for the prize. Oh my god, this is like Gamergate all over again. Oh god, let's not get into that can of worms now, shall we? Unless that's offensive too. I don't even know. Oh, because there's a can of worms, that means a male dominated little phrase that women can't enjoy a can of worms. I don't even know anymore. It's just so weird. But apparently, Pesley is now Bimo's. Oh, I'm so adorable. Yes, I am. I'm so adorable. I don't even know. Look at that. It's so adorable. You can't really take me seriously. Oh, so cute. I don't know. I just want a fox in real life. One day, I will own a fox. Maybe I'll even make a commentary about foxes. I don't even know. I just know that there are a lot of things or a lot of opportunities for me to get a fox, so I possibly will talk about that in the future. And I do have a plan, but I'm not too sure I'm gonna actually talk about that plan anytime soon. Aw. Really? I got screenshotted. Hooray. So that was an exciting game of Fallout. Will we have a round two? Stay tuned. And round two has just begun. Let's see who's gonna fall this time. Okay, 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 where are we gonna get? Who is gonna be the last one standing? A few people have already fallen before I even got the roll call here. We got, what's your name? We got Kutra. Then we have Camp, Cougar, Mine, Legador, Biller Beck Boys, Pesley, oh, somebody else fallen. Hazard is still over there, then we got S-Man. Whoa, we got a good team going on. Sadly, what's his face? We got, oh, Tony fell. Sad, sad Tony. Now, who is going to be the last one standing? Did someone else fall in? I don't even know. Right here, Hazard. Right here. Right here. We got this. We got this. Look at all this space right there. Oh, look at that. Somebody else has fallen. Well, Pezzy's right there, S-Man, Biller, Beck Boys, Legador, Kutra, and Cougar are still standing strong. Now, Hazard is actually doing some wacky... Oh, oh my god, that was a bad jump right there. You were so close. If you would have sat on that block right there, you would have gone it. Oh well. Now, moving on, we got Pezzy and... Biller Beck Boy standing in the same square. S-Man got a good advantage in having his own corner. Then Legador just barely standing strong right there. I was about to say standing still, but either way. Kutra, oh, we got two blocks left. Oh, poor Cougar. Poor Cougar. Is he going to be the lucky one not to fall because of that one block? Oh, hey, hey, no, hey, stop it, stop it. Don't, don't taunt me. I'll shoot you. Oh, Legador, one block, two. Biller, Beck Boys, and Pesley have their own separate blocks. Oh my god, Legador. Oh my god. Look at that jump. Look at that jump. That was so close. Kutra still standing strong on one block. We got Bimo and Pesley on separate blocks. S-Man and Legador. Either they're going to have to get one block. Oh, no. Nope, looks like it's going to be that. Now, oh, Kutra has already fallen. Pesley, Biller, Beck Boys, and as well as Legador and S-Man are standing strong. How about you go over here? 
Are you, will you be able to make that jump? Oh, he made that jump. Now we got Pesley, Bimo. Oh, Legador has fallen and S-Man has fallen. Now it's just Pesley and Bimo. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win between these two? Oh, who's gonna win? Let's see, is it Pesley or Baylor or Bimo or Leslie or Beck or Boys or Esley? Elvis Presley, are you gonna win this for the team? Who is gonna win? I own you. You be nice to me. Well, that's one way to look at it. No, it's oh, oh my god. Pesley has fallen first. So are we gonna do a tiebreaker or are we gonna actually go by what I said? If they're gonna go with a tiebreaker, I have no problem with that. Well, it looks like it's gonna be a tiebreaker. Let's see if who's gonna win this time. But seriously, I would love to know how to actually do this so maybe one of these days I'll be able to actually, actually, yeah, I'll be able to actually host it myself. But who knows? Me and Bimo fell at the same time for me. What, 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 what? Okay. Well, looks like it's already started. The tiebreaker. Who's gonna win? Who is gonna win? Will it be Bimo? Will it be Pesley? Will it be Beck? Will it be Leslie? I don't know. This is so exciting. I cannot wait to see who's gonna win this tiebreaker. It's so nerve-wracking. Just at least for both of them. As a commentator, it's not nerve-wracking for me unless if I was actually rooting for somebody. That I can't root between two friends of mine. So who is gonna win? I think it's gonna be Bimo that's gonna win. But we don't know. He already won last time. So maybe he'll actually win this time too. Oh, Pesley took the fall. Pesley has taken the fall for Bimo. Why? Why? This is so mind-boggling. Why would you do such a thing? I don't even know. Is that it was their decision? It's just that's just how it goes. Tell us, winner. How do you feel? Not sure. That is not an answer. You got to give us a direct answer. Well, I guess that Bimo was kind of a loss for words. I guess I don't even know. But he won twice in a row, so. Good on you, Bimo. Lol, no world editing. Come on now, you can do that. Just do one in each corner. And is, is that how it goes? Looks like that's how it goes. Yeah! Well, that was an exciting game of Fallout, but sadly, I'm not able to do the last round if there is going to be a last round because I have no more time because I got to actually go to work. But congratulations to Bimo for winning twice in a row. And hopefully, maybe you'll even win the third time. But who knows? I'm just going to end off the video. Maybe they'll find out that I'm recording, but I'll let them know in the future. But until then, have a great day, everyone. I'm SirKing090, and as always, I will see you in the next video.